Hello, everybody. We're going to talk about Tai Chi in Silicon Valley. Start from this book, Zhao Bao Tai Chi Gong Fu, and this young lady next to me is a young Tai Chi master, Cindy Peng, and Cindy and her father produced this book. So, Cindy, what made you study this book? Uh, one of the biggest motivation is definitely to promote Tai Chi in the community, and、um, we try to spread the message to many others who have never heard of Tai Chi before,、um, because this is not only just a type of martial arts, but it has a very rich cultural background behind it, and it has a very、um, the philosophical idea and theory behind it is what we try to promote and share with、um, others in the community.、Mm. Must be a wonderful experience. So, what what's the most memorable moment?、Um, I remember the most is when we take the pictures for the book.、Mm-hmm. Uh, as you might notice, this book contained more than 400 shots of pictures.、Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's a very different experience from my usual daily practice of Tai Chi, because、um, when we're taking the pictures for the book,、um, we have to be very、um, critical about the movements, and because we want to increase the accuracy and make everything look as accurate as possible.、Mm-hmm. So no wonder those pictures and you know showed really the wonderful. Uh, posture of the, you and your father. So, how long you've been practicing Tai Chi? Um, I actually started practicing at age six,、mm-hmm. and up until today, I've been practicing for eleven years with my father. Wow, eleven years! So, seven, you are seventeen these years. It, during these eleven years of your practice, and what do you learn most from the Tai Chi? Um, I think what I gained the most out of the experience is、mm-hmm. definitely I develop a much deeper understanding of Tai Chi itself.、Mm-hmm. Um, I think Tai Chi, the essence lies in the maintenance of a state of balance, both physically and mentally.、Um, tai Chi not only forms a highly concentrated mind, but also、uh, entrains people's mind as well. So、uh, when people are doing it and exercising it,、um, they can improve in many other aspects as well.、Mm. You know, in in many people's mind, and they think that the Tai Chi is good for senior people when people are、um, slower. Or they can practice some simple. What、well, What do you think about that?、Um, I would say like one of the biggest mis-、uh, misconception is is that people think that Tai Chi is only should only be practiced by like the senior people or the aged. But I would say like that's an incorrect belief because from what I know, about 80% of my father's students are engineer workers,、mm-hmm. either from. Um, Apple, Google, or Facebook, and some of his students are even just university students or high schoolers, as myself. So I would say, like many people, should break from that misconception, believing that Tai Chi is only、um, for like the aged, because it can、mm-hmm. also be practiced by young people, like many others.、Mm, I believe that、uh, many young people after they watched you and they would like to start a practice. So, <laughs> so what's your suggestions to people?、Um, I say that Tai Chi is all about coordination and balance. So when we are practicing it, I think the most important thing is、um, the concentration, the concentrated mind, and also focus on what we're doing.、Um, so we stand properly, proper position, and because our pow- power came from the feet, so we have to stand in a stabilized position. And the other significant thing is the coordination of the upper body and the lower body. Well, can you uh, uh, demo this description? The description just you mentioned. Sure. Yeah. <laughs>